Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are going to talk about our best bourbon so far. Yeah, so this is honestly like one of my favorite videos to do. It, it is a fun sums video. up kind of where we are. And if I'm being honest, I'm comparing this year to last year. Last year I feel like we had so much more on the table. Like so much. There were a bunch of just, heavy hitters. Yeah, exactly. Last year. Uh, but I there did, is some, I mean... Oh no! We're no, not having oh, a no, ton we, of heavy hitters. I mean, oh no! We, do we have got some, heavy hitters. Yeah, I mean heavy hitters. But, but. but what I also kind of enjoy is there's a lot of like shelfers that we've tried this year that I think meet some of the best new stuff that we've had yeah. this year, which is also yeah, really exciting. That. And uh, if you're looking for like details of all these bottles, like as far as like we're going to go into grand detail, this is not going to happen in this video because there's a lot of bottles sitting here, and we don't want our video to be 47 minutes long. <laughs> Um, no, we don't. He can say. <laughs> so basically, all the bottles we've either reviewed, or we've done it on a live stream, or we have a review coming out for them, or we're going to do on a live stream. So there you go. All of the things. Also, something to stipulate: we are not doing any store picks, except for the very last one at the end of the video, and we're actually going to leave it up to you guys if it should be allowed or not allowed on the end of the year list because it definitely will be a top contender at the end of the year in my opinion yes so but anyways uh before we start go ahead and hit that like subscribe comment notification all that stuff and tell us what your favorite bottle is so far this year all right all right so the first one that we're coming up with is Bargetown bourbon company discovery eight this thing i I think this thing is a massive hit. Like, I think it's so great. I don't know how many people have got to try it yet, but once it starts hitting your market, I cannot stress, this is the best one since four in my It's an upgrade opinion. from seven, uh, for sure. I, even though he didn't really like seven much, I like seven, mm -hmm. and I've liked it more as it's opened up, but eight is... I'm willing to come back to seven. Uh, yeah. I, but my point is... I'll bring it back over and we'll... This we'll is a... Back. Basically a finished barai. Yeah, it's, it's 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 good it's good stuff, um, and this one is a new release from Jack Daniels, and we've done a review on it. This and it's uh, it's brother or are bourbons considered sisters or brothers? I don't know. Yeah. you know how they talk about cars. I think they say sister barrels. So I'm okay. Good. So this and triple mash came. <laughs> this and triple mash came out at the same time. Uh, when we did the review, I like Triple Mash better, but when we blinded it, I like Bonded better, so I put Bonded on the list uh, I, because I, I think agree. I think it is a, a really good uh, release, and it's not going to be like a special release. This is going to be kind of an everyday bourbon for them yeah. uh, from going forward. Uh, so Jack Daniels did a really good job with this. This is such a... I mean, this is such in the wheelhouse of... Of flavors I enjoy the caramels, the oak, the vanilla, yeah. like the rich dark colors of it. It's just it's really really great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the next one, and I don't think we've talked about this so far this year. It's the Hard Truth Sour Mash Rye. By far, one of my new favorite bottles that's released all year, and you can find it on the shelves. It's from Hard Truth, which is up in Indiana, Brown County, Indiana, correct? Yes. You've been you've actually yeah. been there. I haven't been there yes, yet. Yes, Brown County. But. I'm telling you guys, for a new rye, like it, it crushes so, so much. It's 116 proof. It's just that perfect proof, uh, in my opinion. And whenever it starts getting cold out, I'm probably gonna have to buy like one of these months. Of all the bourbon, of all the ryes in the world, this is one of them, <laughs> and it's and it's decent and it's decent for having for being a rye. So, <laughs> this, I'm gonna tell you all right now. Whenever this, if this makes our list at the end of the year. Just look right at me. At, in truth, this and truth for a ride, this is this is pretty good. I uh, we have, uh, we do actually have a review in, in the hopper for this, but <laughs> we don't know if it's a run yeah. drop. Yeah, I mean, who knows? We'll see. Uh, all right, this is probably um, in to me one of the top so far this year. This four gate, yeah, um, Kelvin uh, Kelvin collaboration four. Uh, just, I've never, like, truth be told, I've never really been into Fourgate, mostly because of the cost of it. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, when he said we were going to review Fourgate, uh, I was like, okay, let's let's review this. And uh, turns out, I, I loved it. And I've had a few other Fourgates since then, and uh, just really a big fan. 
but really a huge fan of this one. We, we had a lot of decent four gates up at uh, Pours in the Park. Oh, uh, yes, we in did. Blake Suites. So yeah, shout yes, to Blake. That yeah. was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. So uh, this is right now maybe 1B for me. So It's a contender yeah. for sure. Yeah. All right. You know, we're not going to have an end of the year list. No, we're not. Without a staggy stag junior. Mm-mm. So this is batch 17. This I, I think this one for me in my blind. I think between the 14, 15, 16, 17. I think this one won for me. It just so many videos ago. I, I, it'd be hard for me to remember. <laughs> he slept since then. I he have won't slept remember. several times since then. You all know this is like ultimately like this is just so much of my profile, and this is just one of my favorites. I know it's highly allocated. I know it's super hard to find, and everybody gets super excited about it. This I think 17 is one of the better batches they've released in a really, really long time, and I'm. I'm really hoping it's going to like score really high for us at the end of the year blind. Yeah. Uh, next one on me is uh, the old Forster uh, 117 series. This is the 1910 Extra Old. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is good. Very sneaky, good, under the radar. I thought it was going to be a gimmick, and it totally wasn't. If you like 1910, yeah, you're going to like this because it's just got... A little extra to it, you know. <laughs> well, it's different. Like it, it is. If you like nineteen, to, it's it's like what I said about Wild Turkey One. It was a toasted release that was so different. Like yeah. they they did such a good job yeah. with it being different. It stands out. Now I can't remember. Was this before Angel Share Two, or this after? Was after? After. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this is this was good. Uh, yeah. Is it the best one? Uh, we shall see. Uh-huh. All right, we'll stay on the old Forester train for a little bit. So, as of right now, I think that the old Forester President's Choice Barrel 22 is the best one I've had so far this year. 24, I think, is going to be a contender for that. But I think 22 is the best. Now, that was the one that we actually just took up to Porters in the Park. We all crushed it. Thankfully, I saved the sample from that, poured it in there, so that way we can try it for end of the year stuff. But that, to me, is definitely going to be a contender. Now, you know, I'm not going to throw all of them in there. And same thing. Like, they're not a all... lot of this stuff, A, they're all not equal. But B, we won't have duplicates of stuff. We'll just probably pick whichever best one of the batches, like the Stack yeah. Juniors yeah. or the 117, sure. something like that. Um, but as of right now, I think that's our, that's yeah. our leading contender. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go uh, one of our newfound loves, and that's uh, John Jake. Now, this... Isn't anything special per se, but because oh, we have really, special. I mean, she is special, but what I'm saying is like, you're going to, if you're in Virginia or you're in a place that supplies uh, John J. Bowman. If you're at the two Kroger's here in Louisville, yeah, that's Two it. Kroger's. Uh, like this was nothing that we ever had before, really even experienced before mm-hmm. this year. And so this is new to us. And so, I, I mean, I want to shout it from from the rooftops or whatever our our little uh, bourbon channel here and just say like if you've not had John Jay, you're you're missing out. You should you should find a bottle and uh, experience. It's just uh, so good uh, that it's consistently good. I've had three different bottles and they're all they all have just a little bit different taste, but mm-hmm. it's all just still in that same profile and I, and I really enjoy it. I had a guy reach out to us, Chris. Shout out to Chris. He was asking me because he was doing a blind with a Blanton's. Um, I think it was like an Elmer and Rock Hill Farms. And he's like, give me something along that profile that I think is like a shelfer that you think will beat it. And I said the single barrel and it beat it. It beat all three of them, which I'm not surprised about. Yeah. But it just like this punches up. I think this is a bottle that will actually punch up in blinds. I think it. I, now, think, I, I think proof can, can scorch it, but. Overall, it's just it's an incredible bottle. I think this will be in the top twenty at the end of the year. I think there's a good shot. Yeah, I agree. All right, talking about proof. Jack Daniels Small Batch Coy Hill. Now, this bottle, I don't lie, it's stupid good, and I don't like that stupid good because it's so hard to find. Um, and the more I kind of come back to it, I really, really do love it. Like I really, I'm not saying I would rather have because you know. The prices on this is absolutely insane. Yeah. But, and I'm not saying I want to pay for that, but man, for how hard it is to get and everything else, they did, su- Jack Daniels did such an amazing job with this bottle. 
and I'm just so happy we were lucky enough to go to that. Yeah, yeah, uh, I, I agree with that. But uh, all right, well, we'll, right over. <laughs> we'll go with uh, the other 117 series uh, so far that I have really enjoyed this year. Uh, this we really went on a run with Brown Foreman, didn't we? Yeah, we always do. Well, I mean, yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, we love you, Brown Foreman. <laughs> yeah. Any samples you want to send us? <laughs> you know, just uh, hook, hook up with us. Another one of these. Yeah, That'd any, be great. Anything. Uh, but the whiskey uh, row fire to me uh, is the best release this year from High Angel Share. It is only second, and it's just a shallow second. Uh, to High Angel Share 1 that came out last year. Uh, but this, it's just got everything that I like. And, and just a huge, huge fan of this one. Uh, it, it makes me excited for the next one that's going to come at the end of the year. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, we have no clue what's going on with that. Yeah. I don't think anybody has a clue what's going on with it. I, yeah. I think we assume there's going to be something. But regardless, yeah. I think this one, I, I'm going to be interested in blinding it against High Angel Share Batch 1. I don't know which one's going to win, but I think this one right now is my favorite, if I had to be honest with you. Mm, I, I really do. Nice. I just, so I like good. it a lot. So good. I do too. All right, let's talk about a bottle we have not had the pleasure of reviewing so far, but will be here shortly. That Heaven Hill 17 year. Now, for me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. The first time I tried it, I thought it was just fine. I thought it was like, okay. And I wasn't crazy about it. And then Dave and I did a review for it, which I don't think is out yet. It might be out by the time this video is out. I don't know. And man, it it is like night and day different. There's so much rich oak to that. <laughs> this is what it is for me right now. <laughs> there is so much rich oak to that that I absolutely love. Yes. Like, you know, we've talked before about like Elijah Craig 18, like the, the bad oak with that. Yeah. Like this right here, there's so much rich oak. Yeah. That's so freaking when, when you good. Get the, when you get the oak right, especially with an aged bourbon, yes. that this oak, when you yes. get it right, this is money. Oh, when you get oh, it that. wrong, it's just kind of a a, a stanky, oily mess. <laughs> I don't know. What ain't it no is. stank about no, this. No, there is no stank about and that. It spanks pretty much most of these bottles up here, if yeah. I'm being honest. Yeah. Yeah, so really good stuff. Yeah. Um, all right. So uh, just follow. We're either uh, throwing uh, Brown Foreman <laughs> or Heaven Hill. Out. I mean, both of them done really well. This yeah, year. they have. Uh, this is uh, the the Barrel Proof series. The uh, B. Uh, what is it? B one twenty two. B five twenty two. Six twenty two. Yeah, no, no five twenty two. Whatever, yeah. whatever it is. Whatever it is. Uh, sorry, I brain farted there for a minute, which it happens occasionally. Uh, but yeah, it's been like our favorite since for me, C920. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because we, I yeah. mean, we've Question. talked about it. If you've seen a review of our, one of our Elijah Craig's in the last little bit, you know, those have fallen short. They're still good, but they've fallen short of the expectations. I think 2021 that, fell short. Yeah. I think yeah, even yeah. the A batch for this year. Was oh good. yeah. You know, it was, it was much better than the, than the 2021, yeah. but I'm just saying like they, for, for the last little bit, they've just kind of fallen. Last year was just kind of a. Just a, a different... Yeah. Uh, I Well... It just it, wasn't overall enjoyable. Yeah. Well, I won't say it was enjoyable. I just think the high standard... Like, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is always towards the top end of, like, some of the best releases year in, year out. And, and the 2021, good thing, they just didn't hit that. But this... I'm telling you right now, this is the best B-Batch I've ever had in my life. Yeah, yeah. I cannot think of another B-Batch I've ever had. Yeah, because when Craig. we blinded... The A, B, uh, and C, mm -hmm. both of us chose C. Yes. Um, a, then B. Yes. In the, in the, in what yeah. we, what we did last year. And the good thing about this, again, if you're talking about allocated bottles of bourbon, this one is one that is, it is allocated, but they do right, make a bunch of it. I feel so, like it's findable. Yeah. All right. And then I guess like the second to last one for the list. It's man, 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 this A. Smith Bowman cast strength. Guys, I'm telling you, if you don't know, you need to know. Like this thing, I, it was cool because I was able to share a bunch of this over the weekend at Pours in the Park with people who have never even, they didn't even know this was a thing. And I, I love the people who were from Virginia, though, and they're like, yeah, I, got, I get John J. Bowman all the time. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, like, you get this? Oh. Like, ah. mm -hmm. but, but I can't. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
But this stuff here never ever really. This is actually the bottle that I, I don't want to say exposed me to Bowman because I think I've had I've had it before, but it made me fall in love with Bowman. Yeah, and just oh, it's so good. That has that hazmat that is just it's it doesn't drink anywhere near hazmat, but no, it doesn't. So rich, so fruity, and it's just mm, so, so good. good. All right, so uh, my last one yeah. is uh, the Barrel Bourbon. Uh, this is their newest uh, cast drink release, and uh, he and I both are in agree like uh, been in agreement that Barrel has been hit or miss for us. Uh, there. Sure. Uh, yeah. You know, there are some things that, that we enjoy. Mm-hmm. Um, I enjoy Dovetail decently. Seagrass. Yeah, Seagrass. But some of their other stuff has just been kind of missed for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this uh, release, is it, it hits all the good spots. Batch 33. So, well, transparency, they sent us this. Yeah. And what I, I think I even said this in the review, that barrel i think barrel knew how good this this batch was i and think they you're sent right it to everybody yeah because and smart on them because this is good stuff yeah. like it is it's some of the best barrel i've ever had and it is just dude it, it i think it's gonna punch up really well yeah I think and so, end of the year blind yeah if i'm being honest yeah. and if they if they know how good they got it like what what's in this then you it's only makes sense to get it in reviewers hands oh and yeah be able to yeah you know preach the word find it find you know batch 33 you'll you'll be happy that you did yeah it's great all right so here's the last bottle we're gonna throw out there but we're gonna let you all decide if we should keep it or not so this is the four roses 20 year visitor center uh private selection single barrel basically whenever they release or whenever they opened up the new visitor center in lawrenceburg they released a i don't know i think it was like three to four thousand bottles yeah this video isn't even posted yet and i feel the people going no 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 i don't know well maybe, maybe not we'll so th- they post like three to four thousand bottles of it and it was at the distillery it was at some of them were at the distillery some of them were at uh the bottling the bottling facility gift shop and they released them here's the reason why i bring it up yes it is kind of a it is i guess you know you could argue a single barrel but it was like a big release and there are stuff like that Russell's 2003 that we reviewed last year, like there's less of that than what they released of this. Yeah. So whenever it comes to things that are ultra rare and stuff like that, I get it. But this is a bottle that was kind of technically a gift shop release. Yeah. So I don't know. So, but we'll leave it up to you guys. Maybe you all care. Maybe you don't. I'll tell you all right now, in my opinion, this would be a top three to five contender for end of the year. Uh, yes, it, I, it'll I think, be, it'll be in the top five. Yeah, I, I think this I'm will be anxiously awaiting Remus five, uh, Remus six, just because I'm I'm have high expectations. Yeah, I, I I'm just saying I think that yeah. is going to smoke a lot, and that's kind of like why I want to throw it out there because I think it will be such a big contender. Yeah, and I also get some injury for it. Yeah, that's true. Well, so anyways, you can only hope. Let us know in the comments below what you all think uh, is our best bottle we've gotten so far this year. Let's and the best bottle you've gotten this year. A thousand percent. That's all. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. Well, till next time, we'll see you.